Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Here, Jenny Lisa Kong and uh, Louise Armstrong here today. It's our next episode of Soul for Women's Journey. Hi, Louise. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, how are you doing over there in Florida? It's good. The weather is still nice. Thank goodness, you know, the virus situation is getting better. So I, I bet I bet in your area too, right? It's kind of, yeah. you know. Things are moving forward. Kids to, are back to school. To um, a bit yeah, more. yeah. Talking about that. Yeah, my son just went back to school this Monday. So oh, finger fact. crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, Louise, today uh, we chatted a little bit and really, really want to talk about this topic, big topic that's actually connected both of us mm -hmm. as coaches and healers, you know, together for this episode, mm -hmm. which is emotion. Let's talk about emotions today. I don't think, you know, people really want to go there, <laughs> mm -hmm. especially, you know, if it's kind of, unpleasant feelings, people will judge them as negative emotions. Mm. Everybody wants to be positive, positive affirmation, you know, strong, you know, like uh, just suck it up, whatever. <laughs> so I really, you know, love to maybe like you to share with us a bit first. Mm. So yeah, I, how, most, how do you, how, what is your interpretation and uh, whatever about emotions? So you are, you know, your work is about emotional intelligence. Yeah. So yeah, what brought it, you know, brought you into it or, you know, your interpretation anyway. Yeah, so it's a great subject and we'll probably do a few sessions on this, won't we, Joni? Because it yeah. is so big, it is so big. Yes. So yes. You know, emotions, feelings, they actually run about 97% of our behaviors. So they are the driving force behind most, 97% is pretty big number there. Yeah. Um, most of the things you do in life, whether that's shopping, whether that's falling in love with somebody, whether that is choosing a career, we are all driven by our emotions. And really we should be taught about this in school. And yeah. so <laughs> in a nutshell, I know it is getting brought into schools these days, which is great, but in a nutshell, shell, becoming emotionally intelligent is understanding the self and being able to experience yes. Yes. all of our emotions because I believe, and this is only my opinion, that all emotions are valuable bar one, and that is shame because I do not believe that shame serves any purpose because shame yes. really means there's something wrong with you. And that is not true because there's nothing wrong with you at all. So if you feel angry a lot of the time, that is purely you experiencing the anger emotion. You are much greater than your emotions. So emotions are, you know, they're a big topic. They're very elusive because they're not tangible. So if you yeah. chopped my head in half, you wouldn't be able to see any emotions in there. But you'd be able to see my brain, yeah. or maybe you would. And so they are an elusive part of the mind. And what we know now is the emotions are the end product of actually, you know, traveling a lot of distance along neural networks and neural pathways. And so the end product is the emotion we feel. And to, you know, experience life at its best, we want to experience all of these emotions. So you can't, yeah experience hot without cold you can't experience love without exactly. love you can't experience night without day because they're all on the same spectrum yeah but as you said jenny we all want to be positive we all want to be just be focusing on you know these um light emotions of joy and happiness etc but actually that is not being a human being so i like to take the word negative out of the vocabulary and perhaps call them heavy emotions. Mm -hmm. And the reason perhaps you might call them heavy emotions is because the little cells that are whizzing around your body carrying these emotions, if you like, 
are actually carrying less oxygen. So they yeah. are heavier. They are yeah. heavier. I like to think of them as little black cells whizzing around yeah. the body. And the, you know, the more positive, lighter emotions are white purely because they carry more oxygen. So it oh, is yeah. true to say that the more times you experience you know, more positive emotions of happiness, you are generally healthier. But yeah. that does not mean we shouldn't experience the other emotions as well, because it's nonsense to think that you can be happy all the time. That would be so you know, true. living like a robot or you'd be very strange. And so <laughs> yes. to benefit the most in life, we want to know that it's okay to feel angry at this moment in time um, and not because someone else has perhaps projected anger onto you or it's been repeated in childhood so you do feel angry all the time you want to be able to feel angry when it's meaningful for you so if somebody goes and hurts my dog i'm going to be really really angry and i need to be angry it's a very very it's a primal emotion yeah. and i need to be angry i don't want to be happy yeah. about it i've yeah. got to go and shout and scream and get that man away from my dog yeah. And yeah. so it's, you know, it, they've all got their place, but it's only when we understand the self, can we really express those emotions, you know, in a true version of us and not because of what's been projected onto us. Yes. So that's yeah. really in a nutshell. What, 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 how would you describe that? What, what, how would you describe Yeah, I, I love every single piece of what you shared. And uh, yeah, I like to share from my perspective, but I, I think it's very interesting because it's just, uh, you know, repeated, you know, content, but sharing in the different language, maybe, mm. you know, explaining the other way, maybe it's highly related to both of our work. So yeah, emotions, you know, for me first, because I do EFT, emotional freedom technique, so it's highly related to human energy system, human nature, you know, natural energy system. So for me, emotions are, you know, absolutely just energy. Mm -hmm. so if you stand uh, at, you know, energy point of view, then you can see there is no good, no bad, no wrong, no right. So we don't need to judge yet. Especially, we do our work, we know, we don't judge them anymore. We don't judge any people, ourselves, our own emotions, but our clients do, right? That's why we really want to come out to talk about this. So many people judge their emotions, especially when you said you don't want to take negative, you know, description, neither thing. I want to take that word away, you use heavy feelings, I use unpleasant feelings, mm -hmm. whatever, it's just that. It's just human nature. And also it's so true that we all naturally experience all of these feelings. Mm -hmm. I see so many people, if they successfully suppress unpleasant feelings by freezing voiding, you know, ignoring or even numbing or even denying their feelings, it's like they disconnect themselves from feeling it, feeling the, those feelings. And then they also, at the same time, successfully disconnect them from good feelings as well. So they don't feel love, peace, you know, joy, that kind of feeling. So it, we just cannot live without this, without, you know, all these feelings. We were born created as human with that. Oh, I also, you know, highly agree with you and uh, the whole society or in the history, you know, we didn't really have any, you know, special classes talking mm, and yeah. teaching kids mm -hmm. about that. You know, when we were a child, if we don't raise you know, as our true self, which means, you know, we can freely express our feelings or mm -hmm. how to handle them. And then the kids learn feelings are bad. Exactly. It's not right if you express them. And mm -hmm. they learn to, you know, then manipulate their feelings by hiding or whatever. So mm -hmm. for boys, maybe, you know, 
they especially, you know, have the anger when they grown into their, you know, adult self, a teenage stage, especially. So they had those kind of my son experience that, you know, luckily as a mother doing this work, I help him a lot, you know, understand he just needs to release it, let it out, give the outlet. That will be the next part we will talk next time. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so these are, you know, just natural human healing, a feeling. We just need to respect, honor, and accept them, admit they are there. So accepting them, it's really the critical step. That way you are aligned with these energies. Yes, I am scared. Yes, I am angry now. To admit instead of denying or whatever. And then you just build internal wall to block this energy flow. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, my interpretation, you know, basically mm. about emotion. Yeah, beautifully so, put, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. that's uh you know, as you said, emotions are all energy and and we are energy. Everything is energy. You know, yeah. we just can't yeah. see it, you know, vibrating, but you've got your hair, you've got your skin, my shirt, my mouth, you know, all these things are energy or vibrating on a certain frequency. And the higher the frequency, basically, yeah. that produces feelings of joy and lightness and love and happiness. And the lower the frequency is of hate and anger and frustration. And so yeah. if you're balls of energy, you want to vibrate on a higher frequency. And I just have to bring this in now because it is so powerful and so simple. And I always find the simplest things are the, so, are the most powerful ones when we talk about shifts in vibrations yeah. and mindset. And it's gratitude yeah. because that vibrates on the very, very highest of all frequencies. And yes. so, yes. you know, that is what gratitude is, is a feeling. It's an emotion. It is vibrating on a certain frequency. And so you're made up of physical, physiological, emotional, all these different balls of energy are all vibrating on a certain frequency. And so, you know, yourself, when emotions are getting you down and they're heavy and you're frustrated, you tend to go into yourself and like oh, this, yeah. you know, oh, you've yeah. got rounded shoulders, you look at the floor and all you see, you can't see much. You can just see. Yeah. Blue. Whereas actually yeah. there's a physical response there. When you experience a lighter emotion, you actually do feel, you know, want, wanting to open up and see more yeah opportunities but we oh, need yeah. to know what it's like to feel really bad in order to you know be able to open up so it is yeah. the most fundamental thing to experience the more but a lot of people are really scared also to experience emotions because they think they might stay there and that's key yeah. they think they're never going to get out of it and i'm going to be in this black hole forever um and you know we're going to talk about next time on some tools and techniques and as to oh, yeah. oh, how yeah. you can oh, my gosh. stop yeah, that yeah, happening. Yeah. And the other thing is, is quite often we don't, you know, we deny these emotions and we use different things to numb them and ignore them, and whether that's alcohol or food or drugs. Oh, or yeah, that's huge. Numb all of um, these emotions because we don't want to feel them or, you know, similar effect to antidepressants. You know, they do suppress the negative emotions, but along with the positive emotions and so we really want to get to the cause yeah what is you know really kicking those what is triggering those yeah. emotions so you know you are greater than emotions and i think that's the biggest thing you are much much more powerful than your emotions they are just a part of you that you are experiencing but they are the biggest driver seriously yeah. you really need to understand your emotions really yeah. to understand as to why you are with your partner, why you're treating your children as you are, why you see your parents as you do, why you have the friends that you do, why you're in the job that you're in. And yeah. if you don't make those changes, I guarantee you, you will be in the same place in five years time. So that yeah. is why you have yeah. to make an emotional change. If that's the driver, that's the part we've really got to focus in on. I always go like this because I, 
I look at it very laterally that the subconscious mind is here housing the emotions and the brain's here, but that's not true. <laughs> but it's, yeah, yeah. I've got so used so to explaining true. this to clients, but it is not, it's for my diagrams, um, yeah. my diagrams only. But I think uh, the biggest message I have today, Jenny, is that, yeah. you know, because emotions drive our behaviors and affect all of us in everything that we do in life. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. the best thing so we true. can do is to become aware of them. And as you said, accept them that I am feeling angry right now. Although my mother said that was a terrible thing to feel when I was six <laughs> years old and I pushed it down inside of me. And then I, you know, that created a feeling of shame when I felt it later on in life. It yeah. is, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we really do need to first of all become aware and then accept and then release which we will talk about next yeah. time but, yeah. um yeah yeah you did mention gratitude that's so true it's a huge thing also we leave it next time because you know maybe at this moment when somebody are experiencing some negative emotions mm -hmm. they even don't want to listen to this gratitude you yeah, know teaching absolutely. lecturing yeah. right yeah. but you know we will talk about that you know how we can shift mm -hmm. actually we do have mm -hmm. a lot of things for gratitude for being grateful yeah but now we still come back to this basic foundation part of emotions you know, emotions also, they, they, they are natural parts. We, they don't know how to lie. Mm. So that's the thing. If we try to control them, hide, freeze, or whatever, and our intelligent body will find other way to give the outlet from them. You know, you mentioned something already, you know, the addiction, because mm. it's all the replacement substitute for the feeling of wanting mm -hmm. love, wanting the peace, wanting to be recognized, or all of these. And if long enough, you know, and, uh, you know, strong enough, those kind of energy got stuck in our body system, the energy system got disrupted and unbalanced, eventually it will end up illness physical symptoms or so, yeah. especially right now under the situation, many of us, it's only mm. natural, go through some degree of stress, anxiety, mm. overwhelm, or other things, challenging mm. situations. Mm. If you don't know how to handle, accept and release it, you just put them inside. And I found it so common you know, for many people, they just either push their feelings up to their head or push it down. Just skip the hard part because we feel our feelings through our heart. Mm -hmm. Now I found many people, they think their feelings through their head. So all these emotions got stuck in the head, making it so full inside. Then they don't have room anymore to retain anything and also that clouds our vision sometimes about our intuition and the creativity ideas solutions and then they got stuck headaches migraines you know insomnia all these kind of physical things also come up and you are relationship coach you know relationship triggers all these feelings if they don't know how to handle it just keep there and our heart also a lot of energy got stuck there but they cannot come out because we don't express them and mm. our throat just got shut down don't let them out so they find our way to yeah. express the truth for us actually that's our truth how we feel and our real self-talk inside mm. but you know we are so busy to use our head to control so now our head and heart are like you know disconnected they are not friends they are enemies to each other and we don't allow ourselves because we have the reason it's not safe or it's not this many mm. people just like you mentioned they they have the uh, uh, fear now if I go there touch it it will be flooded mm. so how can I handle I cannot afford to lose the control I don't know how anyway <laughs> Exactly. So that kind of thing, yeah. really, yes. Yeah, and it's and so I, true that misalignment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
and especially a lot of feelings, you know, we we got trapped. It's even not from the current situation. It's really trapped from the events that happened back to the childhood, whatever. It's the deep stuff. That's why we are triggered all all the mm -hmm. time. So we just mentioned this here. So this is, you know, these are energy. And the good thing is we have ways, we have tools to really use, to, to healthily give the outlet, mm -hmm. let them come out. I personally experienced with, of course, myself, my client, and with my son. When he felt something, I helped him to just express and let him out. And then, you know, he didn't know anything, you know, sometimes he even didn't let me to guide him, but I just used some way. And when it's released, I ask him again, are you still angry about this and that? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nothing happens outside world. Mm -hmm. The situation, whatever, you look at it like the end of the world. But then when you release it, you just come back to the neutral state, mm -hmm. seeing it from a different perspective. And then your life changed already a little bit. Yeah. Of course, the deep stuff, you know, we need to, you know, work more. But you know, most situation I call them acute situation you can get yourself when you understand just like you said when you understand your true self and un understand the feelings and then you can let them out so that's yeah, just absolutely so, yeah and I think that's nice you brought in there your son as well because it's so important that uh, you know it's our young today who are going to be growing up for our next generation and they really do need to be much more intelligent about themselves um, because they're going to be better human beings because a lot of this suppression of these heavy emotions that we've been taught not to express is coming out in you know it comes out in wars and divorce and arguments and you know all sorts of terrible terrible um situations and so it's just really lack of knowledge but not even intellectual knowledge but much more you know emotional knowledge yeah. it's the true understanding and we don't just want to fill our minds with stuff we yeah. really want to be able to impart it you know onto ourselves and there is a process you know yeah. that you go through from awareness because it's like you, as you said, Jenny, putting on a new pair of glasses. And when you put on a new pair of glasses, a new perspective, you then see your partner very differently. You see them for who yes. they are and not who they're projecting themselves to be. Yes. And then yes. you're able to see new opportunities for you to take in life. And so the whole yes. thing kind of snowballs. But we are programmed to think negatively. So it's the way we are. And the reason yes. why we are programmed to think negatively is just because of survival because we yeah. do not want to be out there thinking that everything is really nice and going to look after us and la di da di da and it goes back to okay. cavemen when we were being attacked you know yeah. on a daily yeah. basis and so we have to re-educate our brain in respect that in 2020 we do not need to be negatively programmed but there is a reason yeah. for that and it's primal and so true Brain just goes with repetition, doesn't it? Yes, yes, so That's true. That's all it does. Yeah, yeah. The energy, oh. you know, got triggered and let them come out for a reason. That means it's time for us to confront it, deal with it, exactly. so that they could go. We can break the pattern. Mm. And the one thing I really appreciate you, you know, at that, it's really not only just from intellectual level, not only from our head. I, you know, want to point out this. Our logical mind doesn't resolve emotional issues. Yeah, Chris, not at all. Yeah, our feelings happen in our right hemisphere. Mm. So it's not from the left, you know, only controlling logical thinking, analyzing. Mm. So that's why a lot of people try to figure it out. Figure yeah. it out. We'll work it out. Work. We'll work it out. Yeah, don't work because it's emotion. Mm. We have to go there, touch it, feel it, so that they could go. Mm. Exactly. So that, that's really the thing. And I think uh, that's key, Jenny. Thank you for bringing yes. that up. That's absolutely key because so many of us are using the wrong part of the mind. 
to make yeah. those changes. And it's not because they're stupid or, you know, intellectually unintelligent. It's just people don't know. That's yeah. all it is. Or are yeah, not willing to learn or are not willing to look at another way of yeah. changing things. But uh, you've got to use the right part of the mind. And that is the absolute yeah. key. Yes. Use my words. Go to the right channel. Yeah, to, exactly. To adjust. Yeah. That's why I'm always over here. <laughs> always over here. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for, from all unpleasant feelings, again, addressing your point, it's going to yourself. To understand yourself, actually, it's your needs. Mm. What are your deepest needs that are not met yet? Mm. And all go back to childhood, whatever. We will talk about that next time in the fu mm. in your future times. Yeah. So that's pretty much, I think, you know, the basic part about emotions. Of course, we will miss something, you know, but these are the foundational parts. And I'm glad today we share this with our audience. Yeah. And so I think, you know, how do you think? I think every time, you know, we, we talk about something, you know, we already have quite some information today. I think it's uh, just pretty enough for today, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think that's really covered it. And there's a lot of uh, information there. And hopefully, you know, our listeners will um, have a slightly different perspective and know that they're okay, you know, that they're bigger than your emotions. And, you know, once you understand yourself, you actually get to choose your emotions, which is even more yeah. exciting. So yes, I hope today yes. has really helped you to understand a little bit more about the importance of emotions and how... Yeah. They affect all of us. Yes. Mm. So uh, before we uh, finish, I have one, you know, sentence, which is actually, you know, my, the tool I use, the script, you know, to talk to ourselves, you know, to calm down or so. It's really like, you know, I choose to send compassion and the love to myself and my unpleasant feelings. So it's Beautiful. just that. Stop judging. Stop judging. Stop fixing and start honoring. Mm. So that's really what we need to do. We talk about self love last time. It's the mm. same. All mm. aligned, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. Okay. Do you have anything else to add, please, before we finish today? Oh, uh, well, as I'm all about relationships and as emotions are all energy. Your deepest form of connection with anyone is your energy. Not what you say, not what you do, but how you feel. Yes. And that's what the other person takes on board. And I think that yes. is key in any relationship, whether it's husband, partner, child, parent, yes. work colleague, that's the message you're giving them. So if you're really, uh -huh. really angry with them, but you're smiling sweetly and saying, morning, darling. Yeah. That is the message. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, just remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy is yeah. the greatest form of connection. Oh, yeah. uh, just listening to you, you know, I know that will be our another whole topic, you yeah. know, on that part. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but that's all for today. Thank you all for watching now and in the future. Uh, let us know your if you have any questions, your feedback, or what you want us to share more with you next time. We really, really love to hear your feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Louise, and thank, thank you, everybody. You so yeah, thank you very much. Now. Take care. Bye. 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 Yeah, bye. I just got to put this up.